Hello again, this is Peter Phelps of Phelps 3D. And in this FreeCAD 016 tutorial, I'm continuing the doing something from a SolidWorks book, but this time we're going to switch to SolidWorks 2009 Bible by Matt Lombard. And in this exercise, we're going to make a bracket that they, this is one of the very first exercises, it's on chapter 4 page 129 it begins pretty much with figure 4.4 so what I'm going to do is go into part design create a sketch I'll do the XZ plane say ok I'm start off just by creating a block here and I'm thinking of it so I'm going to go ahead and just center it on that this is 101.6 now all the dimensions were in inches so I am converting these to metric for this exercise 152.4 I'm going to go ahead and pin this up here to the line I decided going to use the symmetry tool make sure it's symmetric and we're going to close that and I'm going to copy it paste it but I'm going to hide hide the paste go back in and I'm going to fillet the edges here corners sure we keep our original dimension And then the radius on the fillets is going to be 15.24. So select all four corners with control. Ah, sorry. Uh, equals. Okay, we can close that. And we're going to pad that. One inch, which is twenty five point four. Say okay, and we're going to take and copy that other the sketch we just made and paste it back in. And 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a map that sketch to the front face. It's a part design. Map sketch to face. So there's a two. So okay. That brings it up to the front. And then we're going to change the dimensions. Um, we're going to be subtracting a full inch from this one. So you want to go one fifty two point four minus twenty five point four. Copy that. And then same thing for this. Subtract one oh one oh one point six minus twenty five point four. Enter. Copy that one. And then we're gonna want to center. Symmetry. distance it should be twelve point seven. going to do is select all of it, control C, and then just drag it up a little bit, oops, okay, I'm going to undo that. We'll see now I wish the line that indicated where okay it, this line should be a different color because it's really hard to see against the gray so it's coming from this point here okay so we're gonna change that one size wise and we're going to subtract twenty point twenty twenty one point two. So correct one twenty seven minus. 21.2 enter copy that and then make sure I got the right one okay I want this one and then same thing again 70 76.2 that one now this should be this one okay and so we 
want the symmetry to cool again. Ten point six from this one to this one. Okay. And we're going to close that, and that will be a pocket. 2.54 millimeters. 2.54. Say okay. Okay, and we're gonna bring that other sketch back up. Uh, I hide the pocket for right now. And bring that other sketch back up. I'm going to select all of it. I'm going to turn that into a uh, construction line. Then I'm going to create a rectangle. But I'm going to delete the two constraints here. I'm going to set the angle of this. To 110. And then I'm going to set these two to be in parallel. This is 50.8, which is 2 inches. Now the tricky part here was because of the way that they, in the, in the SolidWorks book, they basically say that they want the distance from here to here to be 16.51. So, I'm not sure, can I do this, pin this to this, no, um, well maybe what I do, I take this line and I delete this line here. I'm going to go ahead and put this back at the same distance to make sure it doesn't move around. And then I'm going to create another line. I probably could have just done this with a line here. At this size, but if I set that to the fifteen point, the sixteen point five one, and make sure that those two are pinned together.
set that to construction line. That should give me the object I need for it. Uh, close this sketch. Bring it up. Ooh, did I do this backwards? I think I just did. <sighs> okay, because that's supposed to be should have been 16.51 from the other direction it's supposed to be on the back of this if I bring the pod back up yeah I think I, I think I messed up it's just supposed to be going the other direction on this side Let's bring the sketch back up. Sorry. Okay. Okay, I think it's right now. <laughs> Sorry. Bring the pocket back up. Um, and then let's make sure that's mapped to back over part design. Sketch to face, sketch to the one, it's okay. Oh man. <laughs> have to do is just do a pocket uh, I mean a pad and then do a cut because it's not cooperating so let's see let's do a pad it's 
supposed to be 6.35. Is it okay? Port. Pocket. Pad. Cut. Back over to part design. And we're gonna create a sketch here. Oops. Okay, and then we're going to create two circles. Set the radiuses of those to 3.17. Set the distance here. Could do a symmetry, but I'm just going to use two of these. And then let's they gave me a dimension that's from the top, so I need a dimension that gives me from the bottom. So we take the 152.4, subtract 48.26. That copy and paste. That will be the distance from here to here. Then I'm going to create a slot. And the radius of the slot is five point five six two six. And then that one is 57 point, and wait a minute, let's do the length first, um, 44.45, hmm, can't do that. <laughs> Come on. distance between these. And it is 57.15. It looks like a smiley fa uh, face. 
two eyes and a mouth. Okay. Just goofing off. Those are all going to be pocketed through. All. And then they have another sketch. Actually, it'd be easier if I just copy the sketch we just used. I said no to that, just in case you didn't see it. get rid of the slot and then I'm going to change the radiuses of these to 4.5 close I need to make sure that that is mapped to this face Close it again. Then we're going to pocket. I'm going to say five. Oh, well, it's already five, so okay. Basically, you're creating a countersink for some screws there. That's all you're doing. Okay, and then the last thing it says to do is to chamfer. Now, I don't know why I'm chamfering the holes from what seems to be the opposite side of them, but it says to do so. And we're going to chamfer those, and it's going to be 1.27. Say OK. And so, evidently, this connects up to some sort of bar that comes through here. And then there's a, a vertical bar, I think, or something. They come together. Okay, so that is basically this bracket. Um, I'm going to go File, Save. Then I'm gonna I'm gonna create a new one. Solid works. Two zero nine Bible. Um, I call it Chapter Four Bracket. File export bracket. And we can take and check to make sure that I don't know if you would want to 3D print this, but it should be possible. No bad triangle, so yeah, that's a 3D printable part. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.